It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 223. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my lovely equal host, Noel W. Herzog, the comedian Sicilian Serpent. That's me. Hello. Yeah, that's you. Thank you so much for being here today. We're here to talk about The Other Way, season four, episode 15, what I thought would be just part one of the tell-all. This was like 30 minutes of the tell-all. No, we nothing. were rudely mistaken, though. Last week, we talked all about how, like, wow, that was the finale, yada, yep. yada, yada. And then we find out from our friend Randy. Mm-mm. But it was pointless. This is pointless. But why didn't you tell us that that was the finale? That that wasn't the finale. Right. You told us next week at the tell all. You told us when we, we found more finale. We had to yeah, discover that li- there was more finale. more finale. You lied. <laughs> we dug up a little bit more finale. There was this much more finale. It was a little bit more finale. It was a little bit more final, if you will. It was a little bit more. Just a little sprinkle of wedding. Just a little sprinkle. Yes, it was a little sprinkle of wedding. A little sprinkle of stupid. And if you're going to have a finale, Mm -hmm. have everyone on it. Why isn't everyone on it? Right. I didn't see Danielle and Johan. Don't they start Danielle and Johan? Don't they start Debbie and Usama? Don't they start Debbie and Usama? Yeah. Don't they start? Debbie and Usama. Uh Están a la biblioteca. I don't think I can conjugate it. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Um, I love the biblioteca. (laughs) My favorite place. Vamos a la playa. Oh, 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 oh. Vamos a la playa. Well, wow, you're such a good dancer. <laughs> no, I actually can dance very well. No, I know. I, I just saw it. You. Well, this that's I don't even know what that move would be anymore. That's like Roseanne and Dan do that on the show. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of dance inspiration. <laughs> well, because Roseanne will do that like if Dan sings or something. That's how they dance. Oh, I'm Dan and you're Roseanne. Great. I like that. Great. Yeah, no, I love it so much. I think I've... I'd rather be Dan, though. Mm, I don't know. Um, I think we'd all rather be Dan. <laughs> you could be Dan. Roseanne's, uh, she's having a hard time right now. You think? Noelle, Let's one see. more thing that I want to talk about, but then uh, if you guys want to hear more of it, you know where to go. I would like to get a choreographer to teach us all of Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera's, and In Sync and the Backstreet Boys' um, choreography. Thank you. I thought you meant new Britney Spears. I'm very upset. Oh, no, Instagram. new Britney Spears. I am her choreographer. Yeah, I don't want to learn any of those. <laughs> no, moves. no, I taught her that. That's how, that's what's happening. Everyone's yeah, okay. like, Britney's crazy. Britney's on drugs. It's like, no, I'm her choreographer. That but is it's also the like. Problem. You guys asked for this. Like, listen, her dad sucks, but like, this is what you asked for. And now yeah. you're realizing maybe she's not okay. Maybe I'd be okay. <laughs> maybe she's, she's not okay. <laughs> um, if you want to hear more about that, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you will uh just see our new dancing career unfold. You'll also see my new retro pink wall. Oh my god, wait until the new studios are done. Me and Noel are both working on both new studios. Amazing. Uh-huh. All right, let's jump into the pool with Gabe and Isabel. I love them, so I don't need to see this, if that makes sense. It's like rain on your wedding day. No, it was rain on my wedding day, both of them. The rain on your wedding day in mm-hmm. the evening. Yeah. It was not rain. That it was, was a, a flood. Monsoon. That was a tsunami. <laughs> okay, but even... <laughs> that was even like the nothing. first wedding. Yeah, but the... And I Ra- mean, Matt's parents' house. We couldn't right. have it outside. But your real wedding in no, Kentucky, that was crazy. I've never seen things like that happen before. People had a huddle under like a hut to smoke a cigarette outside. Yeah, I know. That's what I was doing when I was smoking my Newports. I was still smoking Newports back oh, then. Oh, trust me. I remember. Oh, I'm I'm so glad that you remember. Oh, I judge. Um, <laughs> Monica can't come to the wedding for no reason. Why don't they ever tell us Why? He has not told Isabel about Monica and he's going to tell everyone she's sick. Let me tell you something. I would yeah. much rather hear that your sister is a bad word. Me too. Than that she's sick and I was just around her. Right. Because then I'm going to be like, does she have a fever? Is it her stomach? Mm-hmm. Does yeah. she have COVID? Did she take a COVID test? How do you, did she only take a you, rapid? Did she take what do you a mean PCR? She's what do you mean she's sick? What Why kind can't of you sick? Just say she's mean? Why can't you just say she says, see you next Tuesday? Why can't you say she went home? She got called home on business. She got called home to Jesus. 
Yeah. <laughs> she got called home to Jesus. Yes. She's having her homecoming. Right. It's like, I don't need to hear. She went she's home sick, to but... get the stamp. But, you know, people, Tracy, aren't like us. She went home to get the stamp for the Madeline underwear. Oh, I wonder if she brought it with her. I mean, he was there for a month. I hope he brought it with him. I don't think he brought it with him. He probably forgot. Uh huh. And he probably got there and he was like, damn it. I knew I forgot something. I know. And his mother in law's like, Gabe, I have right. millions <laughs> of pairs of underwear that I have sewn in with these cookies. Right. I'm just waiting there, on the stamp. There may or may not be ants coming out of these pants. They're molding. There's ants in our pants. And IDKY. Yeah. IDKY. I actually know why. I know that I don't have a stamp to stamp them. Right. So yep. we need to send these out sans logo. But you know what? Monica just went home because she's a B-I-T-C-H. But she didn't we go we're home. Not she's nowhere. That. She's here. But she is. But so, you know what? It's so funny because on the coming attractions, you don't even see her on the tell-all. Okay. But here's the thing. Yeah. She wanted to be the best man, the maid of honor, the officiant, the person who walks in down the aisle. She right. needed to be everything. And then she's like, I'm not coming. Right. Then she's nothing. Yeah, it's like, no, you no. don't have the option of not coming. You assigned yourself every single. You were the caterer. You're the church itself. <laughs> You're the steeple. Open it up. You... There's all the people. And it's all you. What is it? Oh, Here's the church. Okay. Here's, Here's the, the church. church. Here's, Here's the, steep. the steeple. Open it up and you see all the people. Ah! Look at all those people. What are they doing like that in church? Just being <laughs> wild. Willy nilly. What are they just all doing the electric slide? <laughs> yeah, they're all macarena in church. Tracy. <laughs> You kept me out all day long. No, today. this is what happens when we uh -huh. podcast in the evening or in the morning or in the afternoon. I have two ring lights on to make it look like I'm alive. I have the biggest ring light. I have a <laughs> ring light that is like I can't the size wait to of, see it. It's the size of the ring of Saturn. I can't wait to see it. Actual size. It's so bright. It's so big that, you know, I was looking for like lighting for my new studio. Like, yeah, like, like real like lighting. legit lighting. Right. And I'm like, I don't need it. You don't. No, I don't need it. This uh -uh. is my lighting. So that's a spotlight. This, I think the neighbors are going to start complaining. Yeah, probably. Like, but she has the bat symbol. This the Batman is like, symbol. In, did you ever, you didn't watch Seinfeld, right? No. <laughs> when no. they lived across the street from uh, Kenny Rogers Fried Chicken. Uh huh. And the Ooh. neon light would go into Kramer's house and he couldn't sleep. Uh huh. This is what this is like. I am Kenny Rogers Fried Chicken. Was there a place, Kenny Rogers Fried Chicken? Was that yeah. a real place? Yeah, there was one on Queens Boulevard. I remember there was Ray Norris Cabin. I was really into that. What on do you Sunrise mean? Highway. Oh, is that a chicken place? They had like chicken and sides, but it was a little step up from like a Roy Rogers KFC. Yeah, this was this was really fancy too. Ray Kenny Norris Rogers. Cabin. Kenny Rogers. They should have had um who's the other guy that plays the sax Kenny G? Fried chicken. John Yates love, loves ground round. He always talks about ground he does round. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Very triggering. Um, <laughs> so, Isabel's dad is mm -hmm. hitting all the way on Gabe's mom. He's like, she's so young. She's so beautiful. She's wonderful. I just love, I just love everyone here. Everyone in this yeah, wedding, so nice. I love. Yes. So Isabel's upset that Gabe's late, but no, she's not. She's, she's not, not upset. Sure. Uh-uh. Um, her dress you think is very her pretty. mother made her dress? Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Her dress is very pretty. They have a saxophone player, which, speaking of Kenny G's chicken and Tracy. See, I was going to say, speaking of Tracy. Also, Kenny G. He was a saxophone and player. Also, Bill Clinton, too. <laughs> I am going to start a band. Uh huh. Me? Uh huh. Kenny G, obviously. Kenny G plays the uh -huh. soprano sax, so that's good because I play alto. Oh, okay, good to know. I think that Bill Clinton, who's also going to be in my band, also plays the alto sax, but I also can play the tenor sax. Doesn't Bart Simpson also play the sax? Lisa Simpson, relax. Oh, uh, sorry. Listen, like I know. Uh, no, I know. It's just you talk about things you don't know about. Um, All right, like the Simpsons. So sorry. Sorry to trigger you. No, it's okay. Um. Who else plays the saxophone that's, you know, famous like me and Bill Clinton? And Kenny G. <laughs> Kenny G. Did Yanni play? Or what was did Yanni, Yanni just... do? Did he play the piano? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he actually... 
just made noises or if he played something? Did he just sing or he? I don't think you could also sing and play the saxophone <laughs> at the same time, though. It's Maybe really like, hard. He might have been like a harp player. Like Lena um, Marie. He's a keyboardist, <laughs> pia pianist, and music producer. But he's also uh he makes the noises. Yes, with song. his mouth though. That's a <laughs> that's a mouth sax. He's a mouther. <laughs> also known as a singer, right. but sure, he's a mouther. I'm sweating so bad from laughing. He's a throat out. player. Yeah. Oh, I heard that about you. <laughs> yeah, I heard that about you too. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I spend so much time on other people and not as much time on myself. And Noel does too. And it's very hard to balance both of them. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you. And never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. Like when people ask us to do favors and we don't have any boundaries. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life. So you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. It's so easy. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash fiancé today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiancé. There was yes. a saxophone player at the wedding. A lot yeah. of um, brass at the wedding. Because there was also, I think, trumpets and trombones. I saw a of lot course of... course, you would call it brass. There's a lot of brass at the wedding. I know what I'm talking about. I'm in the band. Why are you like this? There's so much brass. I'm Tracy. You know what this reminds me of? You remember in Empire <laughs> Records when uh, Mark was taking eating edibles and watching the gore uh, of course I video. do. And yeah. they're like, Mark, join the band. <laughs> That's me. I'm Guar. You are. <laughs> All right. So there's two officiants. Right. And they both apparently graduated uh, summa cum laude because they have on strip graduation gowns. <laughs> Maybe that's some kind of tradition there. Yeah, what? They only have college graduates marry them? Uh-huh, right. And you have to wear this certain gown. It's passed your on course. from father to father to father. This is your... I love that. This is your this gown. Is your this honors. is your officiating gown. <laughs> I love it. Isabel didn't notice that Monica didn't come until later on. How didn't she know she was the florist? But also, how did she not notice she was the church? <laughs> she was the steeple. She was the people. This was a, This is Monica. She was the Macarena instructor. <laughs> so, oh, Tracy. Isabel's parents are so happy. They're so right. nice. Right. The kids love Gabe so much. And then... Isabel's crying about how grateful she is for Gabe. And the kids are like crying about how grateful they are. Her like, daughter was like flipping out. <sighs> She's like, shut up, Miguel. I'm going to speak for both of us. Oh, I know. She's like, right, I can well, speak for both of us. We're both so happy. We both love Gabe. I would love if Gabe was my stepdad. Me too. Yeah, that's like best case scenario. Um, He's see, so silly and nice. Speaking of um, lovers. Nicole. Nicole and Mahmoud. Uh, so she's been in Egypt Mahmoud. for five months. So every episode was one month. And she's waiting on his visa so that he could move to the U.S. But he's worried about having a job, having friends. Finding a mosque. You're going to find all of those things here. And it's not the mosque. Yeah. A key. The Burger King. The Burger King on North. On Nost. On Nost. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's on right. Nostrand the Avenue turned yeah. into a mosque. That's right. Uh -huh. That is true. Yes. Uh, sorry, on Nap Street. Yeah, it turned into yeah. a mosque. Yeah, so I yeah, don't know so if there's you're... mosques all right. over America. I don't know how the commute from Los Angeles, California to <laughs> Sheep's Bay, Brooklyn is every day, but... <laughs> Probably a lot. I don't Where know there's if a will, there's a way. Trip. There is. Where there's a mosque, there's a way. That's right. So um, he said that the fight about clothing will get worse in the U.S. I'm sure it will, though, yeah. because she's going to want to dress much less conservatively here. I like when she says to him that he needs to be less than a dictator, but she says it with like a straight face. Right. It's like you need to be much less of a dictator. But it's also he's not being a dictator. 
No. He said that he, he will get mad if she shows her muscles to the men. And I was like, oh, what is this, Noel? The muscle. Yeah, that's me. That is me. <laughs> Showing your muscles to the people? I show my muscles. Anytime I lift anything heavy, I'm like, I go to the gym. <laughs> so she wants him... Um, I will tell you this. I really yeah. liked her little zinger. So he's like, it's going to make me angry if she shows her muscles to anyone. And she goes, well, I think you should address your anger. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was, I was very like, crazy. Oh, my God. Us. I love that. that. Mm -hmm. She's like, let's go to, to the root of the problem. You have anger issues. So also, she, it's not even like she wants to wear a tank top. She's like, can I wear like a sleeve like she's up like, to her elbow? A... She's like, can I wear a bracelet sleeve? Right. <laughs> It's like, can I wear a glove sleeve? Like, can she doesn't I, even can want I that roll much. up my long sleeve shirt one roll? Yeah, this poor girl, she just wants a little air. He's like, oh, why? So you could seduce men? Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But mm -hmm. she found texts with other girls. And he's that mad that she went through me for a loop. He's mad that she went through her phone. Isn't that the story of the century? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't trust you because you were talking to girls. Well, I can't trust you because you went through my phone. I'm mad at you now because you went through my phone. Then move out of my house, okay? Then move out of my house. Why don't you pay rent? Oh, Tracy Sorry. triggered. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so he chats with a girl from China trying to sell him a TV. That made me LOL. Okay. So it's funny because there's a few different ways that I'm picturing this. Okay. I'm picturing this being like a spam message. And she's probably like, TV's for sale, TV's for sale. And she's sending him like pictures and like all this stuff about TVs because it's spam. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I think you're pretty. Right. And she's like, please send me all of your social security information. And she, he's like, where are you staying? Are you in town? And mm -hmm. she's like, yes, I am in town. My uncle died and left me one billion dollars. Can you please send me your bank account information so I can share some of it with you? And he's like, I like you, too. <laughs> so I get that. Uh -huh. And then um, also, are you like hooking up with a lady that is literally selling TVs in like a parking lot? See, I pictured sometimes in the middle of the night, I'm on TikTok and I see like all these random live videos. They sell, they're yes. all selling wigs. Fake, yeah, fake purses. The pearls, they're popping them out of so many. Every oyster has 10 pearls on TikTok. So I'm picturing one of those. He's on live and he's like, look at all these TVs, man. Right. And he's just talking to the girl. Yeah. And she's like, yes, I love you too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, credit card information in yes. the comments. That's what I'm picturing. Oh, man. So he asked if she got to her hotel okay. She's like, yes, my hotel is very big and green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very green hotel. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, did you get back? Okay. And she's like, yes, I love dogs and cats. That's yeah. how you know you're talking to a bot. Right. So he doesn't know why he asked. He doesn't know why. I know why you asked. Okay, but also... Man. Right. But also, was he with her? And then she went back to her hotel. And was he like, hey, did you get back to your hotel? OK, after we that's crazy. I actually the mouth? didn't think that that's crazy. After we like did that. mouth stuff with our mouths together, you think that you think they did mouth stuff in like person, kissing. just kissing. But in person, I don't know. I mean, when do you ask someone if they got home? OK. You've never had someone ask you if you got home. OK. Just you. Wow, no, that's like a thing. I that's a get. thing if you're out with someone in person. No, if you tell someone you're going out somewhere and they're like, hey, did you make it home okay? Right. Or if you leave my house, I say to you, Noel, text me when you get home. No, no, no. I get it, but I don't necessarily think that they hung out and made out. Mm. And she said, quote, it could be worse, right? Tell me how. Nicole. Tell me how exactly it could Nicole. be worse, Nicole. You know, you know how it could be worse. Yeah. Uh, it's real though. This is how right. It is. Uh huh. Yes. Um, you don't even like him. Well, that's true too. Right. It's like what's holding them together. She doesn't like him. He doesn't like her. They don't like each other. So I know, but they swear they do. They don't. They're not convincing me. Kiss one uh -uh. time. Hold her hand. Never once. They're not allowed. Yeah. Oh, sure. That's what it is. He won't. He said that he will try to change and they are just so proud of themselves that they got through this terrible. Uh, and she said, basically, she's going to let it go. Good she luck chose with that. to let it go. I mean, 
listen, we've all done that. Listen, um, she's going to bring it up at every single fight they ever have again for the rest of their lives. Uh huh. All right. Moving on to Rishi and Jen. Nothing happens. He's heartbroken. It's the he's, same thing. He's praying that they get back together. So he meets with his friend, his uh, astrologer friend. Right. Natesh. And tells him what happened. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, I didn't want to say anything. But what I really saw in the stars was that, that it's never going to happen. So then why do you have to make up August? Right. I don't believe you. Shut up. <laughs> so um, he believes in love. And She's going to go. Tell he believes in love more than astrology. Yeah. So he's going to she's going to go tell him that she's leaving. And he's very upset, not accepting this breakup. So they break up again, crying. She also, though, she's definitely um, like a little more closed off than he is through this. Suddenly, she has to be. I totally get that, though. No, no, I know. I'm just surprised. She's disassociating. That it's, I'm surprised that it's not reversed. That's all. Well, here's the thing. She has to leave. Right. And I like that. She's like, I have to leave. And he's like, when she's like soon, like she won't even tell him when. Good for her. Yeah, I I did like that because I did not think so, especially like what we saw in when we first met Jen in the videos of her. Totally different. And like, Uh who are you talking to? Why are you cheating? And now it's like she's like, all right. But she's smart. You know how many women, a.k.a. like Jenny, would stick around and get dicked around and then be like, why didn't he? Tell his yep. parents, yeah. Why didn't Good he marry her? Yeah. Yep. So she's crying, but she has no regrets. Okay. So. She don't regret it. And that's the first time we've ever seen her hair in a ponytail, too. Speaking of regrets, there's a lot of regrets here. Let's talk about Chris and Jamie. Let's talk about it. Um, so they're fighting. This is the rest of the pool fight. They're they're gonna do a chicken fight. But why is Chris so angry? Chris is so angry. She's fighting, she's screaming, quote, my son just went to jail, and that's why. She wasn't there for Jamie's birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, he went to jail for drugs. But and Chris is like, you're so selfish. You're so selfish. And Jamie just got a job. Right. She said that she's in debt because Chris left her high and dry. And she also says, like, the two weeks turned into five months. That's why she's upset. Mm-hmm. And she said that she really doesn't send her much money. And she's like, her son got arrested way before my birthday. I believe that. So Chris walks back and they will not communicate. Chris wanted to defend herself. She's like, why won't you let me talk? Why won't you let me talk? And she's yelling. And she's like, well, I didn't, you know, she's like something about the money. And she goes, how much did I tell you that you could pay rent? Four zero zero. Right. And then Jamie's like, okay, so the rent was five zero zero. She goes, five fifty. I saw the contract. Okay, fine. But you still didn't send me four zero zero. Right. So you still didn't send me one zero zero. Mm-hmm. That's so what bugs me. Chris is done. She's done. She's done. She's done. She's moving. She's telling Jamie, go F yourself. Quote. Yeah, of course she's done. She doesn't want to be with Jamie. Find somebody else to pay your effing bills. I hate that. So Chris is sitting in the van and Jamie's getting some stuff from the van Mm -hmm. and Chris screams, get the F away from a and pushes her. I love that. You're not cursing. Did you turn over a new leaf Mm -hmm. on the podcast? Okay. I never curse on this podcast. Really? Not even like ass. No. Wow. Look at that. You know that. (gasps) No, no, no. I know that you don't like you're not a cursor in life yeah. but i'm just saying like i've never heard you say what the f i think that that's why yeah it was just so many f's well also i don't i just don't understand where the anger comes from why is she that angry why is she that angry because right I think that that's the only thing that justifies her leaving i know but it's ridiculous it's so stupid she's like i found out um mm-hmm. that i that i'm straight Right. Or I went to America and I met someone else. Or mm-hmm. I came to Colombia thinking that the Percocet would flow like water. And it did it. They didn't have my narcolepsy medication. Okay. They didn't have her narcolepsy medication. Right. Maybe, so that's wait. the real problem. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. I'm bringing it up. Do you think that her son went to jail for narcolepsy medication? Do you think her son went to jail trying to score her drugs? Do you think that her son went to jail trying to score him drugs? Both drugs. Like Leah from Teen Mom. She was doing yeah. drugs with her dad. Mm-hmm. She yeah. was doing closet stuff with her mom. 
Wow, you heard it here first. Never forget. Yeah, I'll never forget that. <sighs> All right. So now it's the reunion. So this is the part that I liked because that other part was like pulling teeth watching sure. that. This was right. way better. So Gabe self tapes in New York City. Everyone's self taping themselves getting ready. This is a very nice room he's in. This brick walled room. Yeah. Yeah. They really sprung on these hotels this year. I know. So Gabe does a self tape in New York City and does not like Chris straight up. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. Jen is doing her own makeup. And I got to tell you, um, I think we need to hire her someone because I'm looking close up at what's happening in the eye area. And I uh-huh. think it's all Q-tip. Okay. I could see that. A little Q-tip. Looking up. Looking uh-huh. Up. I could see that. Um, Nicole says, quote, it's going to be a good day. Nicole arrived in full head to toe leather. All right. So Gabe doesn't like Chris. St- uh-huh. States it. Gabe also uh-huh. doesn't like Mahmood. I like that he tells Nicole that. Yeah, because I mean, honestly, it's like, what are you going to do? No, I don't. Like, are anyway. you going to tell him that? He's like, well, I think we're on please television. Do. Please do. Right. right. But I think we're on television. So it's, nobody yeah. liked a lot of people didn't like Gabe on this episode. Gabe was very outspoken. That's why I like but, Gabe, but he was outspoken. He was in other people's business. Agreed. But I feel like every tell all somebody does that like yeah. Colt would do that. Yeah. Daddy. I mean, at least Gabe's more more likable. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I just think Gabe's likable. So Nicole is not going to respect Mahmood's wishes. Okay, right. I'm shocked. Danielle shows up. She pulls up in a black car. Mm-hmm. She gets out of the car. She is immediately tackled by the Easy Pass police. Yeah. <laughs> and they beat $80,000 out of her. They just beat it out of her. How do you rack up that much? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you live in the Holland Tunnel? Do you live in Staten Island? Do you just ha- go over the Verrazano every day back and forth? Are you doing cardio with your car? What are you doing? <laughs> are you doing the five barrel bike race? Are you doing your car? mall cardio with your car? What's going on? I don't know. It's so weird. Bronx, I, Queens, Bronx, but Queens. also that's what I'm saying. Staten Island, Bronx, Staten Where Island, Bronx, going? Manhattan. No Manhattan. Now, There's no tolls to go to Manhattan. No, uh, but there's unless the Midtown Tunnel. Unless you go to the Midtown Right, I was getting Midtown Tunnel. That's what I said. <laughs> Midtown Tunnel. <laughs> so she, I I just wanna I would like to say this. Yeah. Danielle thinks that people are surprised because she should just be cooking and cleaning for this beautiful man. Okay. They can't believe that she stands up to him. He's so beautiful. What? What? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, that's a number one. And I don't know Num- that. Whatever I don't she beholds, behold I don't that. Behold. I don't behold the same thing as Danielle. Uh-uh. I behold something different. I mean, listen, I have my own problems beholding. No, same. <laughs> my beholding <laughs> meter isn't always great. Right. I'm not a great beholder, but, but I'm definitely not on her behold level. They, they, oh, she should co- she should just be cooking and clean, like grateful to have him. Because he's so beautiful. What? Mm, okay. okay. Um, so <laughs> Deb shows up. Deb what is wearing hell? a rock uh-huh. quarry. Yes. 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 I like that. Yeah. Deb has. I, I don't know what's happening. I would like to see what she was ma- wearing a little more underneath. I know. But I think that whatever she has adorned herself with, maybe there was a rock tumbler involved. There was a rock tumbler, a rock quarry, if you will. <laughs> yeah. The whole quarry is glued to her. Rock City. Detroit Rock City is on <laughs> her. Yes. Chris comes with the most beautiful orange highlights I have ever seen. And she is extremely sick, vomiting in airports. And Gabe is like, yeah, no, sure. She sounds, it sounds real. So let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Watching Chris this whole time, do you think she's a hypochondriac and yes. a drug addict or yes. just a drug addict? Both. I don't know if I think she's a hypochondriac or just a liar. Like, I don't know okay, if she so believes we that we know that people sick. like this. Yeah, of course. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Literally, we know people that almost fit this bill. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. So I don't know. I mean, I think that. Yeah, I guess they do believe a that lot of that drug sick. use. Yeah, yeah. A lot of drug use leads to this behavior. Yeah. Uh-huh. The violently sick. Do you think. Cause we- Sorry, this it's very windy in here. My door just slammed. I don't know if you heard it. Oh, okay. Thank you okay. for apologizing. It scared the shit out of me. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if she's withdrawing or right. if she's sick. She's not sick. 
is altitude sickness. She's always sick. What is she? New York is very from New York City is very high in the mountains. Uh huh. (laughs) What is she in Harlem? Uh huh. We're very high in the mountains here in New York City. There's so many hills. She's on Second Avenue and Ninety Second Street. Mm -hmm. Very hilly, Tracy. It is very hilly over there. Oh, neck like. (laughs) I mean, did you see her jump in the pool? Her neck is. I saw her. My neck, my back. (laughs) Very funny. She was like a dolphin. So um, Chris is wearing this beautiful bellhop uniform with a corset underneath. I hate you so much. It's beautiful. She got a job uh, at the hotel she's staying at. What was the name of that movie? Soap Dish? <laughs> Which one is, is that? Is that the movie? Yeah, that's the movie. It's like they're all mm-hmm. in a hotel. And I think that Balky is like the bellhop there. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, it's coming back to me. Yeah, it's all I know coming it back is. to me. <laughs> me too. It's all coming back to me now. I, we saw a post that Celine Dion was dead on Facebook, but that's not true. But it's all coming back to me now. I hope you're okay, Celine. No, I love her. I think she's fine. Uh, she's not fine. She's sick. No, no. I mean, she's sick in ways that can't be helped. No, she's sick. She has like cancer or something. Really? Hold on, I don't see. think that's true. Yeah, she has a disease. She came out. Yeah, she what came is out. the disease? I'm not um, laughing at the disease. Sti- it's called stiff person syndrome. It's a rare <laughs> neurological Sorry. disorder that affects her ability to sing. Yeah, no, she's got a disease. So she it affects revealed- her. She. It's neurological. Neurological. Yeah. It can cause painful muscle spasm and involuntary stiffness. She's very sick. Interesting. I know someone that might have that. I have to think. I'm thinking about it. They can't sing? No, they can sing, but they're very stiff all the time. Mm. Okay. Read my mind. <laughs> very stiff? Read my mind. Um, I wish I could give you a hint. <laughs> we saw a bracelet today uh-huh. that had a certain thing on it. Uh-huh. That the person does for a living. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like it's yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I understand what you're saying. Uh, okay. Okay, great. This is fun. This is like no, this when is you said when you said I'm your person on BS, this is what you meant. This is exactly what I meant. Yeah. Uh-huh. I will say this. I do you know the game taboo? Yes, I do. Okay. I used to play that with my mom. <laughs> like she was my teammate when we would do like family That's fun. taboo. It's not fair to anyone else. Because you guys are just in sync. There's too many memories that uh-huh. I will trigger. Like I did this with Gabrielle. We did um this, we did this game show. We did this like live game show thing. Oh, at, I remember that. At a yeah. podcast festival. Mm-hmm. There was no touching us. That I literally said to her, I literally said to her, there is arugula on <sighs> this. Every time you come to my house and she goes tablecloth. Oh my God. It's so true. Yeah. That's so good. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. Only certain people you could do that with you and I could do that. Oh, I mean, that wouldn't even, we would kill. We would kill. It wouldn't even be fair. It would Mm -hmm. not be fair. Um, all right. So, uh, so Gabe thinks that Chris is full of baloney basically. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Chris is wearing a bellhop uniform. And of course said mm-hmm. Rishi is dressed like a matador. What the hell with, outfit was with that? With a wrinkled t-shirt, a matador uh-huh. with a wrinkled t-shirt. He's either on dancing with the stars or he's mm-hmm. going to the gym. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. He's a part of sparkle motion. Uh, <laughs> Jen looks good. Her hair looks good. Jen looks good. Tim and Veronica are there. Um, why? Osama- well, we find out that Osama tried to call, uh, but she did not answer. Good for thousands, her. Thousands of times. I would just block him. He's like, yeah, she didn't pick up because she doesn't care about me. Okay. This guy um, with the manipulation, huh? It's so crazy. Like, he was never great, but the way he flipped is insane. Yeah. So yeah. Danielle and Johan are there, and they're, quote, technically married. See, Danielle says that, but she's all talk. Yes. So yeah. Nicole... Mm-hmm. Um, sent Mahmood pictures of all the outfits that were possible. Right, and he chose a different outfit, and then she chose what she wanted to do. That is right. the story of everyone. This life. is the story of, but this is the story of Ninety Day Fiance. Yeah. So why'd you ask? Just to, as a courtesy. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. Chris and Jamie have never spoken again since that scene. I'm not shocked. Debbie is wearing a tutu coat. What does that mean exactly? It's made of tutu. Is it? Yeah, it's like just tutus everywhere. Oh, I like that. Okay, I could not figure out. 
Yeah. I could not figure it out. Okay. Oh, I did. So I don't like watching the flashbacks between them. No, it's very upset. She said he's yeah. very mean. He's very unkind. And he's, she said he's smoking something. I mean, she's not wrong. Johan said, help uh-huh. him and get him a visa. And Johan said, I have this. This is the same thing that I'm trying to do. Johan is trolling Danielle. Yeah, but Danielle's just sitting there quietly. No, she's no, like, but he. Okay, but I would too because he's literally trying to trigger Danielle by saying, "Of all course, this. oh yeah, I wouldn't budge. I'd be like, he's right. That's why mm-hmm. we're together. Yeah, that's why we're together. It's uh-huh. perfect. Yeah. He's like, yeah, get him a visa. He's like, if you could help a poor boy, then just help him because that's I what know. I'm trying to get Danielle. And to everybody do. is like, wait, what? Mm-mm, he's trolling her. <laughs> yeah, that was very funny. I see, but that's what makes me like Johan. <laughs> yeah, because he's. It's like, very yeah. funny. Yeah, right. watch this. <laughs> you want to say we're technically married? Watch. Right. Watch. You want my meat in the fridge? Watch. You're not cooking and cleaning for me? Watch. Well, you want me to kick a powdered coconut? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. All over the house. Imagine if I was doing that, I'd lose my toenail. <laughs> I could not kick that coconut. You could not kick it, not in your condition. I could not kick I'm going to lose toenail. We're going to have to glue that thing back on. We're going to have to. Yeah, great. Wait till you see it tomorrow. No, you're well, not going to I can't see wait. It. Yes, I am. All right. Uh-huh. So Usama said that he's honest and he cannot lie. Those are two not true things. They're right. Two things can be true at once. Those are not them. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that he used to love her, but um, he just was calling her 6,000 times to tell her that it's over. Okay. That so is... that's where he lost everyone too. Everybody's like, what? Okay. That is what I've had so many friends. Mm-hmm. Tell me mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. about their boy. It's like, well, uh-huh. I just, I just, keep I calling. am one of those friends. <laughs> you are one of those uh-huh. friends. I can't I stop. Let, I just wanted to let him know that I did not like him. Yeah, so, and I can't stop telling him that. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> so, um, Jen said, uh huh. Who even does this? I could be friends with Jen. I think. Oh, no, I could definitely. Be yeah. OK. She goes, Who even does this? And he goes, me. Oh, Usama. Me. Can do Usama. This. I could do <laughs> this. Yeah. And then oh. I'm like, I don't know if I hate him. That was very funny. I don't. I'm like so confused on how I feel about them. Debbie and Osama. Yeah. I don't think I'm too confused. That was just very funny. He did. No, I am me confused because I also do feel like he actually did like her a little bit, too. I don't think it was all fake. No, but I think that there was some kind of like conspiracy. Bonus. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So Mahmood said that Debbie looks so old. And everybody's like, what the hell? Mahmood. So they bring. Oh, yeah, that's right. So they bring out Julian, who also calls his mother an elderly woman. <laughs> OK, but up. as soon as he comes out, Jen is chomping at the bit. I know. So he threatens him. He's yelling. He calls him a stalker, uh, texting that he loves her. And he's like, like, you're in my town, son. You say it's stuff like that. It's like, cop. what is this? Right. That's what I mean. He's such a cop. He's like, can you tell me how fast you were going? Do you know why I pulled you over? No. And he's like, yes, me, Usama. Right. Me, Usama. That's right. Because I'm <laughs> with an elderly. He said he can't remember the text. Oh, I love that because because Debbie's trying to say that Osama kept saying I love you, and yes. Osama's like I don't remember. If I, I don't said remember. That. He's like, uh, what what did you say in court when you can't? Recall? I plead the fifth. No, no, no. It's like um, it's something like I can't recall or something. Oh, like okay. Recall. Yeah. So uh, Julian goes, okay, dog. I like, it. and then he's like, go to the dentist. Oh my god, he tells him uh-huh. go to the dentist. And uh-huh. he's like, why don't you get a job? And he goes, I will not get a job. I am a poet and I will die for my dream. Okay, but then they ask if he was attracted to her and he goes, Tell them about the knights in Casablanca. Okay. What is that? Sean says, Okay, what happened in Casablanca? Yeah. <laughs> Sean. Oh, Sean. So Usama tried to play hide the um Hide the uh, shawarma. Hide the tamale. Yeah, right. Hide the shawarma. I like that. We were looking <laughs> at a new shawarma wet restaurant today. And then they say that uh, basically, who said it? Someone said Debbie was using him for Moroccan citizens. Yeah, uh, I think Gabe might have said yeah. that. So like, yeah. why, maybe it's the other way around. It's like, oh, okay. So she sent him two to three thousand dollars in four years. That's not that bad. She says it's chump change. It I love that. Change. Over over four years. And but you know what's so crazy is like 
that went a long way for him because it was like he was she was buying him groceries every day and stuff. That's not bad. But that you isn't must... a lot of money. No, no, that's I not a lot think... of money for that whole time. No way. Okay, so say let's go on the high end, right? Three thousand uh-huh. dollars uh-huh. divided by four years. Yeah, divided by twelve months. Sixty-two dollars a month. I could afford that. I could have my own Osama. I could have my own Osama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. So, um, but you know, Chris understands where she's coming from because they both have a big heart. They both have big hearts. Okay, Chris. I don't. I'm not going to have to agree with that. <laughs> no. Uh, also, uh, Johan's like, yeah, you should help him. I mean, Johan is really trolling here. I can't <laughs> wait until they get it. to Danielle and Johan. Oh, God. So Gabe said to sell his art to Taurus. And mm-hmm. he says, see, now this is where I'm like, Usama's very funny. Uh-huh. He goes, quote, it's not like I'm selling underwear. Right. <laughs> it's not like I'm selling Madeline stuffed underwear. Madeline's. <laughs> I'm not selling Madeline's from Trader Joe's, but they yeah. So Sean asked if he's trying to get Debbie back, and he said yes because they were like a poem. Okay. And she said that she probably won't respond to him because he would have to move a mountain. Uh, and by move a mountain, she means send her an airline ticket. Right. So, but that's what I'm saying. It's like start with an airline ticket. That's where you start. You're gonna. That's crazy. I thought that you didn't want to be with him. So why are you ignoring all his calls? So she runs to Julian as soon as they take a break. Mm-hmm. And she goes, maybe he needs, maybe he needs therapy. You sound just like her. And Julian's like, yeah, maybe you need to stop worrying about what he yeah. needs. Mom, maybe you do too. Yeah. And uh, she's like, also, did you see Jen? And he's like, yes, give her my number. Thank you so much. I know. He's like, you got my number. Give it to her. I was like, oh, cute. He was, he was <laughs> very silly. So mm-hmm. moving on to Nicole and Mahmoud. Mahmoud. She, she lives in L.A. and he has an appointment in 20 days uh, for his interview. And uh, mm-hmm. he can move to L.A. after that. And then they wanted to know why did she move to L.A. without well, him? She wanted <laughs> to get a job in an apartment for when he gets there. Yeah, I get that. I mean, you no, can't... I get that both stay with a friend i think that that's actually really cool of her right so sean said that he proposed in a week tim said they hate each other tim's like they don't even like each other yes tim you're right they so, don't like each other but like what is the point because that he doesn't even know. want a green card i don't know so sean's like so i heard that he proposed within a week and she goes approximately a week uh-huh so give what or does that take mean? a few days because so it was days? probably like six days or eight days, not exactly seven. So a week. Yeah, we're playing games here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So basically it was love at first sight. That's what they're trying to make it like. Sure. She sure converted to Islam two days before the wedding. And Sean's like, do you know what Islam is? And she's like, what? She's like, maybe not like 100% totally. Mm-hmm. Like maybe I thought that like we were going to like get really nice rugs in the house. Right. And, and then, then I can just look at them. Right. And then like you sit down on them. <laughs> like a lot. I like that she's like, oh, I look back and it's so crazy. It's just so crazy to me to act like this. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> he said that his kids will be Muslim. So now this is where Gabe loses me a little me bit. Me too. Me too. So Gabe's like, so, so, um, my move was like, no, I didn't really ask her to convert, but I told her that like when we have kids, I want my kids to be Muslim, right? Even if she's not. Right. right. So Gabe asked, what if his kids don't want to be Muslim? Um, and then asked if he's going to force his daughter to wear a hijab. And Mahmoud said, well, you know, in my religion, it doesn't force anyone. And Gabe right. said, then why do you force your wife to do things? And he said that our marriage is between us. Right. And now... Danielle asks if the kids are going to go to Quranic school right. and she goes, well, I, I actually don't have kids. Right. So I like don't even know because I also feel like, like also okay. we're getting divorced soon. Well, they're definitely getting divorced soon, but I also feel like, OK, sure. Shouldn't they get to choose? But babies can't choose. Mm-mm. So I mean, listen, you raise I've... them and then say when they're 13, they're like, I don't want to do this. Right. And you're like, OK, cool. So yeah. now Sean makes a very good point for the first time. Yes, in her she, does. Yes, Sean she does. Sean says, if this was Christianity or if this was Judaism, would everyone be so upset? Yep. She's absolutely right. So Mahmoud gets mad at Gabe and Gabe says, don't force religion. 
Okay, um, but I don't Gabe, think that's what happened. Gabe, you're that's being what... triggered. Gabe, yeah. you're being triggered yeah. by something that is not what you think Well, Gabe is. is being triggered because you remember even when he wanted to come out to Isabel's parents about being trans and he was saying that people who are super religious like any religion he's had such bad experiences with sure sure so and i think I'm that sure that's, that's why he's triggered him. uh-huh okay but you know what so you right. can't raise your children in any kind of religion until they can choose right that's that that doesn't really make sense to me no and if they were like oh we want to raise our kids jewish it's like okay People but also raise that would be with, okay. Right. But people raise their kids with religion all the time. Uh -huh, it's just right. not one that you think is uh, uh -huh. appropriate. appropriate. But listen, I understand Islam, uh, you know, the culture a lot of times is oppressive to women. Uh huh. So I understand where there's controversy to that. But I will say that um, at least Christianity, from what I know about it, is oppressive as well if you're going by the book. Of course. I mean, any religion is. So I'm just so is Hasidic Jews, you know, any religion is I'm just throwing that out there, guys. Yeah, I just think that Gabe was triggered by something and I don't this is where he lost me. Right. And it's like, yes. I see what you're doing. I get it. Of I'm course, hearing you, of course, but like, of course. let's not. So now yeah. um, Nicole cries. OK, but why is she sobbing? That can't be from that part. Well, it's probably because she's like, I can't believe that I am going to have to wear both of my sleeves when he gets here. I can't believe I have to sew it on. I have to sew it on. I cut it off right before he got. I have to then... now. I have to sew it back on. Mm -hmm. I sold she... the other half on Poshmark, <laughs> and I delivered it via Grubhub. Uh -huh. uh, oh, if I you guys wait. want more of us, you know where to go: Patreon.com/slash Trash Talk Podcast. Make sure you're following the podcast at Trash mm -hmm. Talk Podcast on TikTok. You could follow us at Ninety Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. And Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you can follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. and TikTok. Uh, TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates. I have some big ones coming up. So go to TracyCarnazzo.com to check out my stand up comedy and everything podcast related. Leave us an amazing review, uh, five star rating, and just tell a friend about the podcast. Tell one friend. We're exclusive. You can yes. tell two, I guess, but no mm -hmm. more than that. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Goodbye forever. Bye forever.